In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the chips on a CIS system that uses a reset button. If you look closely at this um, set of cartridges, the reset button chip is actually one big chip and it's one big piece. So it's, um, it's not as easy to remove if you don't know how to do it. In order for you, um, and if you remove it wrong and you break it, the chip is no longer usable. In order for you to remove the, uh, the chipset on this, you would actually hold onto the side of the cartridges like so and slide the bottom off because um, this is not actually molded onto the cartridges. You could actually remove it and slide it off. So I'm going to slide the bottom off of this as I, I stabilize the chip. Do you see? It just came off just like that. If you try to do the same thing for this, uh, the, this this chipset is going to get in the way. So you actually have to push the chipset up a little bit, like so, and then stabilize the the chipset and slide it off, like so. Do it again. Lift up the chipset, stabilize it with, with your fingernail, and slide it off, like so. And the last one. Lift up, stabilize, and slide off. The chipset will move in. If you want to go ahead and put it back in, um, you got to go ahead and s s slide this part of the chip on top of here. And, and there's like a little lip that actually makes it lock into place on top and it holds it into place. So lock the top in and then slide the bottom back on, like so. You do that for the other cartridges. Make sure you put the cartridges in right um, order because I'm just showing you how to remove and put it back on. So put the top on like so. You see this top little piece? Put it on like so. And then move the chipset away and then slide the bottom back on. Like so. Move on to the next color. Put the top on. Slide, move the chipset up and then slide it on like so. And the last one. Put the top on, slide it on like so, like that, and then you have it. Um, your your reset uh, chip is back on. Uh, I'm gonna quickly remove this off real quick just to show you something. If you don't have uh, if if you have a system that doesn't have a reset button, you'll have it with a single chip like like this. Uh, if and it'll it'll come just like as so. Uh, if you want to go ahead and replace this chip, you have to push the chip to the left not to the right. If you push it to the right, it's actually in the lock position. Push it to the left, it'll come off like so. So if you have a defective chip, you could easily replace it by sliding it off and on.